What's going on world, it's your boy Alex Miner, but today we're going to talk about how you can get a 12 to 60 millimeter f2.8 to f4 lens for your micro four thirds camera, and it'll cost you less than $300. For those of us using the Micro Four Thirds camera, one of the most versatile lenses you can buy is the Panasonic 12 to 60 with a variable aperture of f2.8 to f4. Now, if you're a GH5 owner, this is the kit lens for the standard GH5 package. If you're a G85 owner like me, that kit lens has the same focal range but a variable aperture of 3.5 to 5.6, which is still useful but it's definitely more limited. It's also not quite as sharp as the faster version. Panasonic and Olympus both offer faster zoom lenses with constant apertures of f2.8, but they only go 12 to 35 on the Panasonic and 12 to 40 on the Olympus, and all these lenses come with a pretty hefty price tag. If you bought your camera new as a kit, you got a deal, but if you didn't, it's going to cost you $500 for the version that comes with the G85 and $900 for the faster version that comes with the GH5. So I know you're asking yourself, how in the world did I manage to get a $900 lens for less than $300? Well, that's simple. I didn't. What I did was get the Olympus 12 to 60 millimeter f2.8 to f4 lens for four thirds cameras. That's right. Four thirds. See, once upon a time, before the dawn of the micro four thirds sensor and mount used by Panasonic, Olympus, and a few others, there was four thirds, a DSLR format pioneered by Olympus and Kodak. It had its share of supporters, but ultimately was officially discontinued in 2017 while being quietly shelved several years earlier. Now, even though four thirds as a system isn't really relevant anymore, you can still find some of the lenses floating around eBay, B&H, Adorama, some smaller online retailers. And because the four thirds sensor is the same size as the micro four thirds sensor, they're optically optimized for this sensor size, which means you're going to get great images and great color as long as the glass is in good shape. And the adapters are stupid cheap. I bought this copy of the Olympus 12-60 on eBay and got it for around $220. I've seen it being sold as low as $200 for a used lens and as high as $700 to $800 for one brand new in the box. The adapter I bought is a $60 one from Movo that supports autofocus and has decent reviews on Amazon. The official Olympus adapter for 4 thirds to micro 4 thirds retails for around $130 new. So I can't say enough good things about this lens. It's super sharp, the performance is great, it's optimized for the sensor size, and it's a third of the price of the Panasonic equivalent. It, it'd really be insane to not pick this up if you need it. So for photographers, yes, you can use this lens if you're patient with the autofocus, unless you're doing event photography, product photography, something where you absolutely need the focus to be like that you can use this lens. For videographers, if you're on Micro Four Thirds, why are you using autofocus? The focus ring on this is nice and chunky. The throw is decent. You can use it to pull focus. I do, I've done it. It's been great. And um, for size-wise, weight-wise, it's a little bit smaller than the Sigma 18 to 35. I don't know if it weighs less. I haven't weighed it. That doesn't really matter to me. Doesn't take up too much size in the camera bag, so I'm gonna be bringing it with me on a lot of shoots. In my studio at home, I'm probably still gonna be reaching for the Sigma over this just because of the 1.8 aperture, which is 1.2 on a speed booster. But outside, especially, or if I'm out shooting client work and I'm not worried about having crazy, insane amounts of bokeh, I'm gonna use this lens. The increased range makes it super flexible and the ability to be like a faux macro lens is pretty awesome. So if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you know every time that we're dropping content, which is weekly, usually on Tuesdays. I know this video is late, but it was just a whole bunch of drama this weekend. But yeah, my name's Alex Miner. This is an insane deal. There are links below. Use them. There are affiliate links, but if you use them, they support the channel, and I will give you a nice big hug and kiss when I see you. <laughs> Later. Later.